Hi everyone, it's Pebbles and welcome back to my channel. How has everybody been? It's been a hot minute since I've been on YouTube. I have taken a little bit of a break. Life's just been crazy. Uh, a lot of things have been happening. Um, so if some of you are friends with me on Facebook or on Instagram, you may be following what's going on. Um, Recently, my little kitty cat Mozart passed away suddenly, unexpectedly, and we've been going through a lot of grieving for, for him and our loss, and it was very sudden. So I will have a separate video because I'm planning to do a little dedication video to Mozart. A lot of you that watch me and have been following me are familiar with my kitty cat Marco, who is my black kitty cat. Mozart very seldom made an appearance. I do have a few videos with him in my videos. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you might have seen him. He was a man coon type of cat and he was the most precious little guy ever. So yeah, he recently passed away and there's just been a lot going on with, you know, with the house and now it's summertime or summer is approaching and we're just doing things around the house and just living life so YouTube unfortunately has taken a little bit of a back side um, you know it happens everybody does it and unfortunately I can't commit to a steady uh, uh, what's it called <laughs> steady video taping uh, date like a schedule right now but um, I'm hoping to do more and uh, get back into the swing of things so having said that, giving you a little bit of an update, um, today's video is my empties video. I didn't film an empties video for May or did I do one for March, April? Anyways, April and May, I don't believe I did a video. So I have a considerable amount of things that I went through these past couple of months. So this might be a longer video than normal which normally my empties videos are quite long so grab yourself a coffee glass of wine shot of tequila whatever is your fancy and I hope you stick with me I'm gonna to try to go through this quickly so I don't bore you guys so thanks so much for coming back and for um, my long standing viewers i really appreciate your support and understanding and for anybody that's new to my channel welcome i hope you're enjoying the content and thank you so much for subscribing and there's so much more things that i want to talk about so i'm going to be doing videos i just don't know when and i don't want to make any promises in the event that i can't fulfill them so if you're interested in seeing my empties please stay tuned The first category is going to be body products. So I have three Oil of Olay moisturizing body washes. These are my go-to, love these. I always rave and rant about this product. Um, it is an ultra moisture uh, body lip wash with shea butter. I find that these are very hydrating for dry skin. I tend to have more drier skin and these are fabulous. Now my husband uses them as well. So we go through these a lot faster than I used to when I was the only one using it. So I finished three of these in the past several months. So there we'll put those in the bag. I am going to throw away this L'Oreal Sublime Glow Daily Moisturizer. There's still some left. I think I've got like about this much left in here. I'm not really, um, this actually gives you a nice glow. It's not that the product doesn't work. It's just that it's funky now. It, ha it doesn't have a nice smell and I don't want to put a stinky body lotion on my skin. But this is medium skin tones. It does give you that nice little um, darkness to your skin. Uh, it's very subtle and um, it is a nice product and I would repurchase this. It's just that this product is so old and I wasn't using it in the winter and now that it's summer, I've had this for such a long time and now it's it smells like it's gone bad. It could have been the activating ingredients that have gone a little funky. So I'm tossing that, but would repurchase. The next product is the Jergens Natural Glow, um, three days to glow. This is also is a good product for giving you that um, 
a little bit of a hue to your skin if you don't want to go outside and get a natural tan. This is medium to tan and it definitely does work. It does give you a nice color to your skin. And you just have to be careful with this because I do find that sometimes if you overdo it and you don't blend it in properly, you can leave streaks on your skin. Even though it's subtle, uh, it says that it's a subtle, natural looking color, you can screw this up. So just make sure you rub it into your skin. But this does definitely give you um, a nice glow to your skin and added color. So I would repurchase this as well. I have this Amber Romance uh, Luminous Body Lotion from Victoria's Secrets. There's still product in here, but this is like, poof, I can't even imagine how old this is. It's got to be over six years old, and it's just time to go. The perfume inside this smells very powdery now, and I'm it, again, it's one of those funky things, and the problem with me was that I had so much body lotion that it was getting old and I wasn't finishing it in time. And then in the winter, I don't like to put shimmery products on my skin because I feel like it transfers onto my clothes. So I never reached for this. And you don't always want your skin to be shimmery because, I don't know, I, personally I don't. Uh, so this wasn't used as often as it should and hence the, the odor now is kind of off. So. It's a nice product. I do like the Victoria's Secrets um, products, but eh, it's time to go. Uh, I finished a Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar Body Butter. I think I got this in one of my Ipsy bags. Completely finished this. This is one of the cruelty-free products, I believe, and I think this is also vegan. It's a really nice, I love the Pacifica brand. I think that they do a really nice job and this has a nice scent to it and I would repurchase or if I was, I did actually purchase um, some Pacifica products but not this scent and I really liked it. I thought that it was um, very moisturizing on your skin and I liked the fact that it was 100% vegan and cruelty free. So definitely would recommend that. I am tossing a set of exfoliating gloves that I use in the shower and basically these are great for exfoliating your skin and also adding the oil of Olay for your body wash and then lathering your skin up. These are fantastic. I buy them in bulk at the body shop and these ones are just kind of like time to be thrown out. I finished a body shop lemon body butter and this was a nice scent but again, the problem with this, this is old packaging and it's one of my older body lotions that I had. Like I, I, I seriously had tons of body lotion that I had stocked up on. And because I had purchased so much of it, it was older. So the scent on this had gone funky, but I was able to really use it and finish it up. And I've learned my lesson not to over buy in these kind of products because they will go bad. And I don't think their shelf life, even if it's not open, lasts forever. <laughs> and um, I literally had these probably for three or four years before using them. So I have learned that when they have their semi-annual sale, I've got to make sure that I just purchase what I'm gonna use in the next six months or so because you're compromising the scent and it ends up being a waste of money too. I also finished, well actually my husband finished it because I'm not a big soap person. This is one of the L'Octane um, almond, it's an almond soap and he's been using this as well in the shower and I think he liked it. It's a cleansing and exfoliating soap. I do find that the L'Octane products are really nice. I really like their almond oil and a couple of their other, other products. And I got this in one of the value packs from Sephora. So um, I personally wouldn't purchase this soap myself because I don't like soap. I find any kind of soap drying on my skin. But uh, I think that he liked it because he finished it. So that is that. The next product is... A, I've got two of these, but I'll just show you one. The Always um, Sensitive Bladder Protection. I finished a package of those. They're always, um, I've done a video on these in my other empties. They're just added protection for, 
you know, feminine, feminine issues. I also finished a Old Spice Bear Glove deodorant. Now, I have changed my deodorant to a man's deodorant because it doesn't have antiperspirant. It's just plain deodorant. I don't tend to sweat, but the do and that's why antiperspirant kind of like blocks your sweat glands and I've just done a lot of research on that and it's really not good because it's close to your lymph nodes and it can promote cancer and stuff. So I noticed that the men's deodorant is just plain deodorant with no antiperspirant and the bear glove, it's, it's uh, like a gel and the bear glove has a nice scent to it. So it's not one of those manly smells. So this literally lasts me forever. You get like Point, or 3.0 ounces, 85 grams of product. And seriously, this lasts, this lasts me like six months. And I really like it. So if any of you girls are looking for something to remove the antiperspirant and you're not like a sweaty person, then you might want to consider trying the Old Spice. Check it out. I like it. And that's what I've, I'm using now. I don't use the girl deodorants anymore. So that's what I have. The next product is a Static Guard Instant Eliminating Static Cling. Love this stuff, especially when you have a very staticky environment that has carpeting in the winter. So this is a go-to. I wear like dresses a lot for work and the worst thing is when your dress sticks to your body and your nylons. So this is great. Would recommend and pre-purchase. And I finished a Raspberry Meringue Deep Cleansing Hand Soap from The Body, Shh, nope, Bath and Body Works. Really like these. Um, this one's a nice scent. It is from the Winter Collection. And yeah, I think that they work well. And I got a really good deal. I think I purchased these during the semi-annual sale during winter, the winter one. So finished one of those. And then I also finished a Crest scope outlast complete toothpaste this was great cleaned my teeth left my my mouth fresh and one thing about i have to say that uh i have been really good about not having a lot of tartar buildup um but i don't think it's from this i have another uh, toothpaste that's almost finished so it'll be in my next empties and i'll talk to you about that after but this was nice it was my travel toothpaste so it was a great size i per i try to purchase toothpastes that are smaller for my travel bag uh, just because of the weight and stuff so yeah I would repurchase that I didn't have a problem with it and then I finished well I didn't finish I'm it's time to throw this out because it's all funky is one of my toothbrush heads from my spinning brush um, this is the Arm & Hammer I think spin brush toothbrush love it I think it works fabulous it really cleans my teeth and since I switched to an electric toothbrush I find that I don't have that much tartar as much as I used to and these brushes see this round circle this is really good because this is kind of um, assimilates uh, the brush that the dentist uses to clean your teeth so really recommend those and you know, it's good to have really clean teeth and gums because a lot of diseases, heart disease and infections come through your mouth. So just something to keep your mind or think about. Uh, and then the last thing, no, no, it's not last, sorry, sorry. Um, what else do I got? Okay, now we're gonna go to hair products. I am, um, going to throw this out. It's very dusty. I apologize, but it was in my bag for several months. This is the C Buckthorn Conditioner. I finished the shampoo, but the conditioner, I got this at um, Winners, which is our like TJ Maxx or Marshalls in Canada. This here was not um, emollient enough to make my hair not tangly. So I was disappointed in this. It says it prevents hair breakage and it's moisturizing. I didn't find that. And because it had uh, the C buckthorn, I, felt, I thought that it would be really good. But unfortunately, this was a fail for me. And you know, you don't know when you purchase these things, it's trial and error. So I wouldn't repurchase this. There's still some product left. I have about this much left, but you know what? I'm done holding on to things that I don't like because you know what? I'm not gonna put myself through that torture. So that's going, bye-bye, arrivederci. 
The next thing that I finished is the Tresemme uh, hairspray. This is the number four. This has been my go-to. I have uh, really liked these. I feel like it gives you a hold, but it doesn't leave your hair sticky. Uh, not for me, at least. I have fine uh, hair and it is curly and um, this isn't the kind of hold that's going to like make your hair crispy. Like I have it in my hair right now and I can still put my fingers through my hair and as you can see it still has like some bounce to it. So I really like this um, but I'm always up to changing my hairsprays. I have still some more of this in my backup so I will use it but if I ever find something I like better I would change but I would still purchase this. All right, oh, now what are we gonna do? Now we're gonna go to face products. I have two moisturizers that I finished. I finished the Laneige Water Bank Gel Cream. I got this from Influencer, and I was to do a review on this, which I do have a video on my review. This can be purchased at Sephora, or for those that live in the US, you can get this brand at Target completely finished. This is a really nice gel moisturizer. It does not leave your skin sticky and it is really moisturizing. I have uh, dry skin and I really like this and normally I don't like a gel formula but I would repurchase this. This is a really nice spring summer moisturizer. I probably would not recommend this for the winter. Um, it does say for normal to combination skin but, um, and I tend to have drier skin, that's why I wouldn't use it in the winter, but for the summer when my skin isn't as dry, I definitely would recommend this and I enjoyed it. So thank you to Influencer for sending me that. I, I liked it and I would, like I said, repurchase. I finished the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion and I seen a lot of uh, mature YouTubers talk about this moisturizer and I found it to be good. I didn't have a problem with it it's a nice moisturizer that I use throughout the winter time. I'm always um, testing out different moisturizers for my skin. I'm not loyal to any one brand right now for my face. So, but um, I would repurchase if I, if I, you know, but right now I'm still, I don't know. I like to try different things. So this is really nice. It's affordable. It's from the drugstore. So depending on your budget, if your budget doesn't allow you to spend like $50, $60 on a moisturizer, this is a really nice uh, alternative. And I think this came out to be like maybe $15, $16. And it has like your hyaluronic acid, the ceramides, the nasamide. So it's got good ingredients in it. And that's key when you're looking for things in your moisturizer. So because of that, I would recommend it. So that's that. Uh, we are now going to go to makeup products that I finished. <clears throat> I finished my Makeup Forever HD High Definition Foundation. Love this stuff. Definitely would repurchase. This was in the color, uh, geez, I don't even know, N128, I think maybe. But um, really love this. It is a great moisturizer or a foundation. It definitely um, covers, it's a medium coverage uh, to full coverage foundation, but not cakey. It still leaves your skin nice and natural looking so you don't look like you have a mask on. And I definitely would repurchase this. Love it. Love this. Love oh, there, it fell on the ground. It fell, oh my goodness. And that's where it's going to stay because I'm not bending down to pick it up. All right. The next product I finished was some uh, Quo Cotton Roll Cotton Cosmetic Pads. They're the little round cosmetic pads. I got this at Shoppers Drug Mart and they're like 125 of them. They I got these on sale because normally I don't pick up the Quo, but these are like 100% cotton. So um, yeah, they work really nice and I like them and they're great for taking nail polish off or taking off your eye makeup with your eye makeup remover. So definitely would repurchase those. I finished a, a uh, L'Oreal Volumi Voluminous Power um, 24 hour mascara. You know what? I used to love this mascara and I'm not a big fan anymore. So for some reason, what happened with this is that it would flake. There was flakes on my, the bottom of my, uh, like on the bottom of your face here. And I used to really love it. It used to give me nice voluminous um, lashes, which it still does. It does do that. 
but it does dry out very quickly. So I don't believe that I would repurchase this. Maybe in a pinch I would, but I wouldn't, it's not on my to-do, like, oh my God, I gotta get that again. Uh, I finished a Smashbox eyebrow pencil. This is very similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which I currently have, because I didn't own it previously, so I thought, okay, let me try it out. What's all the hype? These are very similar. So on one end, it's got the spoolie, and then on this end, it has the twist up fine tip, um, fine tip brow pencil. And there's a little bit left there. So this is like a medium brown and you can just really define your, your, like, you know, the hair on your eyebrows and really have precision with this. And I think you get the same amount of product as you do with the Anastasia, um, brow wiz and the hardness is about the same so just depends on your preference this was the smashbox one I would repurchase this one I liked it the next product is the uh, Kat Von D tattoo liner this is in the color the black one trooper it's got the felt tip this is I re I did repurchase this but see this is like oh, let me see if I can so it really is a nice application. I have it on my eyes today. The only thing I'm noticing is that it doesn't last as long on my, um, by the end of the day, like I, you know, eight hours, it fades. So that's the only thing. So it's not as dark or stays on your lids as long as a gel liner would, but as far as a felt tip liner, I would say probably maybe five hours to six hours. Depends on if you have greasy lids or not. I don't have greasy lids. And like today's the end of the day and this is what I have left. So really, I think it should be darker because it goes on really nice and dark when you first apply it. But I did repurchase it, so go figure that one out. <laughs> then I am throwing away an Annabelle pencil in the color blue gray and this is just one of those sharpening pencils this is super old very creamy but you know what this is old and I'm just gonna throw it out now because literally it's probably 10 years old and it's time to go so that's the color right there um I don't the Annabelle is a Canadian um company cosmetic company and I do like their products but I don't reach for them as often as I used to so I don't know, maybe I would purchase these again, but I would recommend them if you're starting out with makeup just because they're affordable. They're more affordable than like a Sephora product, but they're not something I would run and get right now because I have a lot of eyeliners. All right, so the next product is just a, like a household product as well. Um, this is the only product I have that's household. And it is one of my plugins for my wallflower from the Bath, uh, the Body Works shop or the Bath and Body Shop, or what's it called? Bath and Body Works, <laughs> my goodness. And this one was like um, a champagne, I think. It was a champagne scent. And I use these quite often in my bathrooms and they smell nice. Oh no, this one's caramel. It's salted caramel, I think this one here is. So yeah, that was one of those. I will I will repurchase those because I like them. The last um, things I'm going to talk about is our is my perfume samples that I finished. So I finished a Philosophy Amazing Grace. Love this scent. Oh, like I liked this a lot. It's very fresh, clean, girly. Really liked it. Now again with um. I find that with any kind of perfume, it's subjective, right? It's whatever you like because it could smell good on me and smell like crap on you. So to each his own. Uh, Angel, this was back in the 1990s. Oh my goodness. This was the go-to signature, but I find it too strong now. So um, yeah, it was. I, would, I wouldn't purchase this because I found it too heavy. I finished, which one's this one? Oh, Lancome La Vie est Belle. La Vie est Belle, Life is Good. And that was nice, but I wouldn't re I wouldn't purchase it. And then the Atelier Cologne Mandarin Glacial. This was nice, and that had, that's the background, and that's that one there. 
This was okay too. It has mandarin in it. And um, yeah, it was nice. It's a nice cologne, soft. So that is it. Those were my empties uh, for the last several months. If any of you are interested in what's in my on my lips, I have the tartiest right here in the color Ab Adorbs. And that's the color I have on my lips. And so it's a really nice, bright pink fuchsia. Great for the summertime. And these are really nice. I love these. They do transfer. Uh, they're not 100% where they don't come off your lips. But they're moist and they leave your 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 lips moisturized. They don't feel like you're gonna, your lips are going to crack. But they do transfer. Okay, and the thing with this is that it has the doe foot, so it's very easy to apply onto your lips. And that's the color right there. So I do like these, good formula. So I think that's it guys. That is the end of my empties. Um, I did pick up some new palettes and I'm playing around with them. I got the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palettes that I want to uh, test out a little bit more and then do a review with demo for you girls and there's so much other videos that I want to do so I don't know if I have if I'm able to be able to get those out and up to you I will <laughs> can't speak it's been weird because I haven't filmed in a while but um, I want to thank you all for watching and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you are new to my channel, please subscribe so you're informed when I do upload a video and you can check in and, you know, say hi. So anyways, leave your comments below. Let me know how everything is going with you all. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching and have yourself a beautiful day. Ciao for now.